Hello, it's time for our collective worship this week. The Lord be with you and also with you. Father Simon here, I'm in Great Yarmouth Minster once again and it's the start of a new half of term which means that we have a different value to think about for our collective worship in the coming weeks. Our value for this half of term is hope. Hope. I wonder what hope is. We sometimes say the word hope, don't we? I, I hope you feel better soon. I hope it stops raining today. It's been one of those days today, to be honest. So when we say that we hope for something, I hope there's chips for tea. Ooh, that's a good idea, isn't it? Me talking about food again? No. When we talk about hope, it's that feeling of longing for something to happen or change. Yeah, that's a good definition, I think. Yes, hope. A feeling or longing for something to happen or change. This week in church, we have a, a special holy day that we remember. So in our service here in the Minster this morning, we remembered All Saints Day. All Saints Day actually falls on Tuesday, but we won't be here on Tuesday, so we did it this morning on, on Sunday morning. All Saints is a day when we remember all of these holy people, holy Christian people who have gone before us, those who've died and gone to heaven to be with Jesus and to be close to God. But in their lives on earth, they did really amazing and really incredible things for God. We often have pictures of saints around. I'll just go and grab one here. I've just uh, found a couple in the Minster. And here's one of St. Nicholas. It's very shiny, that one, isn't it? Here's one of St. Nicholas. You notice that uh, St. Nicholas, who this church was first named after, well, a lot of churches are, are dedicated, remembered uh, by the name of a saint. There's a circle going around St. Nicholas' head there. I've got another one here. There's a couple of, uh, there's another image there. And that's a picture of Jesus coming alongside a friend. And you see that they've got a, a light around them. That light is called a halo. And uh, it's, a, it's shown in, in art, in pictures of saints, showing the light shining around them. And then you know that that is a holy person in the picture. I've got a couple other ones here. Here's a picture of a saint. Uh, his name was St. Francis. I might send some of these pictures to you and you see them and have a close look in class. Uh, St. Francis uh, was a great friend of the animals and really uh, helped people to understand and worship God in creation. So there you see St. Francis with a bird. But again, he's got the light around his head. And there's a couple of moderns, modern ones here. Um, this is one from, uh, from America, uh, a lady whose name I think was Dorothy Day. And uh, she was a person who was a great friend to people who were homeless. And there she is. She's showing some homeless people, a homeless family, through the door. And you can see they've all got the light around them. This is another one. This man, he looked very serious. He was quite a serious man, but his name was Dietrich, Dietrich Bonhoeffer. He was a German man. Uh, and in the Second World War, he spoke out uh, against the Nazis and spoke up for the Christian faith. And the Nazis in Germany at that time didn't like it. And so Dietrich uh, suffered greatly and eventually he was executed. But he was a very good man who, who spoke up and, and, and that gives us encouragement and, uh, and hope that that's what we do. So anyway, I'm looking at all those people and um, I notice that they've got this light and, 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 and then when people see that, that kind of halo shining around, uh, that, that people know that they're a good and a holy person. So I've had a really good idea so that people will know that I'm a good and, and a holy person. Uh, what I'm going to do is, I've, um, see, I found one of these. So what I thought I could do, right, is if I, it's like a silver tray. But I thought if I could just sort of go and stick that there on my head, right, when people see Father Simon coming down the street, they'll know 
that, that I'm, a, I'm a holy person, won't they? And they'll know that I'm a good person. So I just get some of that there and I just sort of wrap that round my head like that. There we go. There. Is that... You, 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 you know, what? It looks a bit ridiculous, really. So that's perhaps not... Uh, yeah, I see what you mean, really. It's, it's not quite going to have the right effect, is it? So... Ooh, that's a bit sticky, isn't it? Perhaps I'll put put that halo just to the side. Maybe that's not the best idea. So, you see, what, what it is, yeah, in, in art, when we show a picture of a saint, we often put a halo around them and it's just like in the picture, but I guess that for St. Nicholas, or for this man, Dietrich, or for St. Francis as well, I, I, I don't suppose they actually act actually had a real light shining around their head when they went about doing good things and following Jesus and helping people to, to follow Jesus and helping people to love God and showing God's love in the world. But because of the life which they led and the things that they did, people said, it's as if a light shone through them. They help to shine God's light in the world. Not because they've got a funny thing glowing around them. That's just to show us in a picture that somebody is particularly special. But because of the good things that they did, it helped other people to experience God's love and God's goodness. You'll notice behind me, there's a really colourful stained glass window. They're absolutely beautiful. It's a really grey, wet day today, so it's not quite as beautiful today as when you get a sunny morning and I come in here and the sun shines through the window and it sends splashes of colour all over the floor and over the walls. And it looks absolutely amazing if you come in here early on a sunny, sunny morning. It looks really beautiful. And, and that's a helpful way for us to think what saints are as well because, like the pictures, and that's saints in the window there that the light sort of shines through them and brings colour and beauty into people's lives not just because there was a magic light shining around their head but because of the things that they did and the things that they did in their lives and the saints give us hope ordinary people like you and like me People who sometimes might get things wrong. People who sometimes might not quite be really sort of perfect. People who make mistakes and need to be forgiven and need to learn to forgive other people as well. And need to try harder and harder each time. Because the saints give us hope because they were ordinary people like you, like me. But they learned to serve each other and to serve God. They learned to follow Jesus in their lives. And by doing that, they helped to shine that light. And that gives us hope because we can all learn how to do that. We don't have to be um, an amazing person from a long time ago. No, God needs us now to show love, kindness, and, and, and to do all of those things in our school, in our world, in our community, in our daily lives. Time to think, time to pray. Dear God, we thank you for the saints who lived in the past and the people who give us an example of how to follow Jesus. And we give thanks for the saints we see today, the people who in our world, in our lives, help to shine your light. Amen. And let us say the prayer which Jesus taught us to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. A couple of questions, a couple of things to have a little think and uh, a little wonder about uh, in your classes or in your groups today. So the first question is, well, it's, it's the same question twice, but I want you to think of it in two different ways. So the question is, I wonder what you hope for in school? That's the first question. I wonder what you hope for in school. Then the second question, I wonder what you hope for in the world. I wonder what you hope for in the world. So plenty to think about there. So, may God bless you. May God help you to follow his saints in faith and hope and love. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest with you this day and always. Amen. And so, with the saints on earth and the saints in heaven, go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen. <laughs>